Look, it's all right. The site manager knows that we're in here. He'd have called an engineer. It's just a matter of sitting tight. Sit tight? Yeah, but for how long? I don't know. Uh, look, it'd be an outside company that maintains this sort of stuff, so it just depends on how far he's got to travel. All right, it's out on phone two. Where's the Abbey bag? What? The Abbey bag. Yeah, Jen, Jen. Jen. No, where's the Abbey bag? No, that, that's what Jen was shouting about outside the lift. Do you understand? His sats are falling. He's going to suffocate. If he goes into respiratory arrest, we've lost him. Um, right, um, take him off from ventilation. This is deep. No, but if you, if you take him off, how's he going to breathe? Well, I'll breathe for him. Unhook him. I can't get a signal. We need a trolley. Oh, there you are, if you've finished messing around. Oh, I've never been so happy to see you. One there. Right, check the battery on that just in case we need it. Um, right, um, let's uh, get as many headlamps as we can. How's he, uh, how's he doing? Yep, we are good to go. Right, well, theatre's as ready as it's going to be. So, we can't wait any longer. I'm going to do this myself. No, 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 hang, no, hang on. I need you to scrub in. Hang Come on. on. Right, we... put him under. <sighs> Mrs B, are you sure we shouldn't wait for Miss Naylor? No, I'm not delaying any more. <sighs> we need to get this done now. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's Sasha. Ian will have to wait. No, Ian's not going to wait. Right, you two, start getting ready, please. No, Jack, he's already sedated. Well, then you better start manual ventilation. Are you serious? No. He has an aortic transection. If it goes, he will bleed out in minutes. If. If. Meanwhile, I have a hemodynamically unstable patient whose output is almost entirely... It's a tamponade, Connie. Stick a pericardial tap in it and manage the situation until I'm done. Right, what if there's more damage to the pericardium? Then it becomes a very complex operation. Right. Let's have a word outside. Yes, let's do it. Ian, need you longer? Fisher has a greater chance of surviving surgery, especially given the circumstances. Which is exactly why he can afford to be treated in the bay until we're done. And how long is that going to take? Ian's will be much quicker. Unless, like you said, things get more complicated. So what do you suggest I do? Open heart surgery in the middle of the anaesthetic bay? We only have one usable theatre. One of them has to come first. Why do you get to choose? Because I'm clinical lead of cardiothoracics and they both have a cardiothoracic emergency. Exactly, emergency. I'm clinical lead of the emergency department. Face it, Connie, this is a surgical decision. And you haven't been a surgeon for the best part of a decade. You no longer qualify to make this call. I do run a trauma theatre. You stand in a glass box and watch while other people do the work. Well, how much surgery have you done in the last year? By all accounts, you've spent more time under the knife than wielding it. Really? You want to compare health records? Should I say something? No. Or maybe get Mr Griffin? Trust me, he will not want to get in the middle of that either. Fine, but they better hurry up. Ian put himself in this position. He was trying to take oh. his own life, and I am not oh. going to prioritise him. How dare you? How dare you? By that standard, we shouldn't be helping Sasha, because apparently he was on the roof a few months ago. That was then. Yeah, but you would deny Ian the second chance that Sasha had. I think it's obscene you even suggest it. You're right. I take that back, but only that on a purely no. clinical level. No. Do you know what, no? You've lost the argument. And let's admit it. You can't be objective, because Sasha's your friend. Damn right he's my friend. I love that man like a brother, and if you think I'm just gonna... You know what? I have wasted too much time arguing with you. It is my decision, and it's made. Get him off the table! Move now! Uh, well? Prep for the pericardial tap in here. Hang on, hang on, in here? Yes! David, in here! The vessel. Hang on, the drain is one thing, but opening them up, the risk right. of infection alone... What's the would... alternative? David, what do we do? Stand here and watch him bleed to death. Mrs B, are you absolutely sure you're all right to do this? For the last time, I am fine! All right, just get set up. Now, get him on his side. I need your help. A bit busy at the moment. Retractor, please. We don't have a hand crank for the bypass. And there is no way I can finish in time doing this by myself. I need you to swap. Well, oh, um, 
I'm dealing with a bleed, so if he's not good enough for your surgery, he's not good enough for mine. Scissors. Please, Connie. If Duval can't fix this bleed, he can at least stem it and keep him stable until you come back in. I need a heart surgeon. I need you. As she said, I'm not a proper surgeon. You're the best CT surgeon Holby's ever had. Including Elliot. Including me. I'll be back. Take over with you. Right. Find the bleed. Stitch it if you can, stem it if you can't. Okay. Charge to ten. Shocking. No response. All right, charge to twenty. All right, talk to me, someone. What's going on? He's not responding. Charge to forty. Charge to charge to forty. Shocking. <sighs> no change. Do you know what? Sorry, Jack. Sorry. No, wait. We're nearly there. If you go now, they'll both die. Start cardiac hand massage. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Have you have you done this before? I've seen it done before. On the internet. All right. My end's done. He's not responding. I don't think there's anything more we can do. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. David? David, what's happening? Are we all in agreement? No. Give him 300 milligrams of amiodarone, 10 millimoles of potassium, 7 millimoles of magnesium. Charge to 40. Free of proline, please, quickly. Push those fluids. Let's hang a bag of Oneg. Mrs. Beecham, 1%. You have nearly finished. Charge to 40. One second, nearly there. OK, paddles. Shocking. Wait. Good. How did you do that? Experience. Don't beat yourself up. None of this was your fault. All right. I want to make sure that this is secure until we can get him on the table and open him up properly. Thank you so much. Don't worry about those things. Let's take him off bypass. I know you don't think I'm the greatest CT surgeon Hobby's ever had. Well, no, obviously, but it got you in here. Well, I think I was. But I think you might be now. Although you're a terrible person, and I'd hate to work with you again. Likewise. But this is certainly where you belong, that's obvious. Must be 
Nice feeling. Now in your place. Donna, yeah. find out if it's back on everywhere and if it's staying on. If so, get Sasha to HDU, get Ian to ITU. Call ahead, make sure everyone's aware, please. OK. So the system update seems to have resolved the computer problems, but there'll be a full analysis, of course. We may have to do some future-proofing to avoid anything like this happening again. Oh, the costs are going to be astronomical. Well, it could have been much higher. Two of our colleagues owe you a debt of gratitude, as do those of us who care about oh. them. So I wanted to thank you for coming in today. That's really after no, need. no, it needs to be said. Your tenacity, resilience, dedication. You really are unstoppable. I um, just need to speak to Jim. Yeah, of course. He he is going to be okay, isn't he? Honestly, I don't know until he wakes up. If he wakes up. Well, the um, hospital seems to be up and running again as usual, including us, so... No, I'll, um, I'll let you know if there's any change in his condition. All right. 